Glen Isherwood here. It's the 10th of February outside of Parliament House where we've just concluded a week of meetings where we've lit a fire under the rear ends of these politicians on the regional banking crisis. I'm here with Robbie Barwick who will summarise how we went. Robbie, tell us about the week, how the meetings go and what were we here for? Well Glenn, we've pulled off a big victory. We've achieved an inquiry, an urgent inquiry with real teeth into the crisis in regional banking caused by the banks shutting branches everywhere as rapidly as they can. There was an inquiry last year, the, the so-called Regional Banking Task Force, which was a total flop, and the banks took it as a green light to increase the, uh, the, the acceleration of their branch closures. So we've achieved a proper Senate inquiry through the Rural and Regional Affairs and Transport Committee, and the, that inquiry is going to send a message to the banks, stop these branch closures now pending the outcome of a proper inquiry that can look at all the reasons for branch closures, including whether the banks are telling the truth about their about the need to do it for profitability and because people are moving away from branches, because that's not true. This is part of the war on cash that the banks have been waging. They're shutting branches, ripping out ATMs so people have less access to cash and we are forced to go online. And it's fine, online can be convenient, but nobody should be forced to do it. And we're always gonna need cash in Australia anyway. It's the only way to have any real privacy from the banking system. So that's what this, what this inquiry can look at. And it can also look at real solutions and the win-win solution to this whole mess is a government post office bank that can guarantee services in every community in Australia where there's a post office. There's more post offices in Australia than there are bank branches now. Everyone can be a proper bank but not bank at post, a proper bank, a government bank that'll force the big four banks to compete. That is the solution. This inquiry will look at all that. And I have to say, shout out to the people watching this um, through our YouTube channel. You all played a very, very important role. People are amazed here at how the Citizens Party pulled this off. It wasn't a one man band though. Um, we, we have to thank Dale Webster, the journalist, the, the independent journalist who tirelessly documented this problem. Martin North, who got behind it through digital finance analytics, and all the people who made phone calls. Now you're getting politicians jumping on the bandwagon. It's quite extraordinary. We'll put up some examples on our YouTube channel of how that's happening. They're all trying to claim ownership of this, right? But we did it because we're the ones that said this is not acceptable, whereas the default position of these politicians is usually, oh, we can't tell the banks what to do. And we said, no, stuff that. It's time the government did tell the banks what to do and now we've got an inquiry that can begin the process of doing that. So tune in, get involved in this inquiry. We'll provide all the details later about submissions, etc. Make sure you follow this all through the year because this inquiry is gonna run till the 1st of December. Authorised by Craig Isherwood, Citizens Party Melbourne.